Ladies and gentlemen, and I want to say we gathered here to urge that Pakistani embassy, Mr. Abdullah Malik, to tell the Pakistani government to crack down on the terrorists, especially the Lashkari Jangwe organization, who is also banned in Australia recently. Thank you very much. Stop, stop! Killing Hazaras! Stop, stop! Killing Hazaras! What we want it! What we want it! Justice! What we want it! When we want it! Now! When we want it! Now! Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, uh, ambushing of Hazaras is happening in daylight in Quetta, Pakistan. Genocide of Hazaras is widespread in Pakistan. Who is harboring the terrorists? That's definitely the Pakistani government and they are incompetent. Now I'd like to thank Mr. Yusufi for his speech and I'd like to invite my second speaker. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he is Mr. Uh, Ulam Hassan and he is Australian Hazara Federation's public officer. Mr. Ulam Hassan. <laughs> Dear friends, uh, dear brothers and dear sisters, our protest today is not against the people of Pakistan. Our protest today is not against the civil society of Pakistan. Our protest is directed against terrorists, against terrorist elements inside the security force against terrorist elements inside the military force of Pakistan. We are worried about our people. We are worried about Afghanistan. We are worried also about Pakistan. 2014 seems to be a very important year for all of us. But forces who are, who are criminals, who has committed crime during the reign of Taliban, who are committing crime right now in Pakistan, in the city of Quetta, they are aiming to expand their crimes and assassination with the hope to govern both countries, Afghanistan and Pakistan, before 2014. But, the people of Afghanistan as well as the people of Pakistan. They did face a lot of tyranny, a lot of sadness, a lot of bloodshed, and a lot of crime. Now it is the end of it. They are drawing the line. They are not putting up with crime and criminals, with dictators and military juntas. They have to go back to their military, uh, the military institution, and justice has to take place. Parliament of Pakistan has to become active. Justice system of Pakistan has to become active. People of Pakistan has to become active to show the stick to the tyrants. The same has to happen in Afghanistan too. Hazaras in Afghanistan kill too and the Taliban, as well as their allies, including Al-Qaeda, they are planning to take over Afghanistan again. But this time, they will be not successful for sure. We are here in this country. We know our human rights. We know our people's human rights all over the world, including Pakistan including Afghanistan, including Iran, and many other countries. We are defending our right because it's justice on our side. Therefore, we will be protesting, we will be exposing many more crimes, and we are not going to put up with crime and criminals anymore. The people of Afghanistan has decided it is enough with Taliban. The same is for the Hazaras as an important portion 
of the population of Afghanistan and as a minority in the city of Quetta in Pakistan to stand against terrorism, against despotism, and against militarism, against killing, shooting, target killing, closing schools, and discriminating against women. We have risen and we are standing by our people no matter what is going to happen. We are here and we are defending our rights. We are defending democracy. We are defending our human rights. The people of the world, including the people of Australia, they have shown their sympathy and support to us, and we are going to enjoy more of their support. And we are expressing that support in terms of protest, in terms of letters, and many, many other activities. Pakistan Embassy, please listen and take this message as a friend, not as an enemy. But we are not going to be but we are not going to stay quiet, if even if you will be looking for it. We are going to be very loud and clearly bringing our voice and sorrows of our people and the tears of our widows and children to the people of the world and your militants will be isolated. If you are cooperating further, you will be isolated and you will be facing difficulties. Thank you very much. What we want it? What we want it? Peace. What we want it? Protection. Who we want it for? Hazards. Who we want it for? Hazards. When we want it? Now. When we want it? Now. Thank you so much. Um, I'd like to uh, say by um, that theme of the Mr. Hassan Ghulam's speech that we demanded from Pakistan government to stop supporting these terrorists like Lashkar Jangwe and Al Qaeda and so on. Thank you, Mr. Hassan Ghulam. Now I'd like to uh, invite another gentleman, Mr. Farhad Ahmed. Farhad Ahmed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone who is here, I should not thank you because this is our every, every each of us has this responsibility to be here today. But proudly, I can say, and I admire your feeling that you have for your pe people. This is the pain in your heart that brought you here. This is the pain for your people in Pakistan that you're feeling here. It shows your humanity, and as a human, we should accept that it is our responsibility to stand against terrorism and racism. Coming here today from all over Australia shows your desire for peace. Every one of you must be proud of yourself that you stand for equality, you stand for human rights and humanity. You can achieve your goal by non-violence resistance, but make sure to continue this mission. It might come sooner or later, but one day you will taste the sweetness of freedom. On that day, you will be the victorious. You will be walk with your head high because you become the face of change. Remember, we are all killed because we are Hazara because we are in minority. But we should ask this house now, the Pakistan High Commission, is being a minority is a crime? Or, or if it's not a crime, why we have been killed for so long? So your mission is peace for humanity. And stand strong because victory is waiting for us. Our non-violence action and demonstration should be considered as our desire for peace and equality. We want you to notice our peaceful demonstration and condemn the brutal killing of our people in Pakistan. Why we are being ignored for decades despite being one of the most peaceful people in the country. Break your silence and speak out about this segregation, otherwise thousands of people will be killed by this wave of extremism. Our desire to peace 
and equality should be admired, not oppressed. We are not here to create a problem. We are not here to take over. We are here to stay alive. We are here. We are not here to create violence. We are here to ask for equality. We are not here to disturb the public. We are here to save human life and humanity. Today will become history, and your action will be remembered in the future that you stood strong with your thoughts, ideas to support peace, equality, and humanity. We want from Pakistan High Commission to consider our peaceful protest and pass our message to Pakistan's government to, pro to protect our people from genocide in Quetta. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, Farhad Ahmadi for his speech. His theme of his message was that uh, we are doing peaceful demonstration in order to uh, portray our message to Pakistani government and send a clear message that they have to protect innocent Hazaras in Quetta, Pakistan. I'd like to thank Farhad. Now I'd like to invite <coughs> a young girl, uh, her name is uh, Ms. Gulsum Beck. I'd like to invite Gulsum Beck. Gulnaz Beck, my apology. They've burned our homes, they've taken our lands, they've stolen our belongings and killed our loved ones. But these bloodthirsty people still haven't had enough. They are even depriving us from our freedom. Our freedom to live, freedom of speech, freedom of having a fearless life without waking up each morning questioning our survival. In this world, there are Hazaras who have no freedom living in Quetta, Pakistan. There are innocent people back in our hometown who are being brutally murdered in broad daylight. This prejudice and injustice against the Hazaras is not new. Due to our ethnicity, we have been targeted since the 1890s during the reign of Abdul Rahman, who had massacred 62% of our population. Yet the same inhumane acts occur with no shame in the present 21st century. There is constant fear. Every day when the men go out to work, we question whether or not they will arrive home safely. Whether or not they are able to gain sufficient funds to feed their families. The new generation of, the new generation of Hazara children who are our future leaders are growing up in a violent environment where they have witnessed people brutally murdered in front of their own eyes. They've seen the roads all stained with blood as the faces of distressed and hopeless adults walk these haunted roads. How are they expected to recover from these gruesome and horrifying images? What that have haunted them their entire lives? This environment will cause depression and severe mental problems to the children. Hearing the sounds of bombs exploding has become a part of their everyday life. The killings and deaths have been embedded in their minds, yet no sign of the perpetrators being brought to justice is present. In the past, there was an excuse for the international community not to be aware of Hazaras due to the lack of technology. That when 62% of our population was massacred, no one heard us. However, now there is no excuse. There is technology where news can be spread around the world in seconds. Then why are we an exception? Why are these brutal murders not acted upon and being allowed to continue? The ignorance of the Pakistani government is appalling. They have a choice to take action. Then why do they refuse? Why do they choose to remain blind to these murders? When will this genocide end? When will we Hazaras have peace? This is a question of basic human rights. 